Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel World of Software Testing. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about driver and stops. Also we will cover the difference between drivers and stops. So in our last lecture, we have learned the concepts about integration testing. So we have covered the types of integration testing, testing such as top down approach, bottom up approach and sandwich approach. So let's say if we consider the bottom up approach in this case the lower level models so here if you see in the diagram so we are going from bottom to top and these are the lower level models so these are the lower level models and this is these are the top level models okay so we are going from bottom to top in case of bottom up approach so in this case m4 m5 m6 and m7 models will be developed first after that m2 and m3 models will be developed and then m1 will be developed so when the m4 and m5 m6 m7 are developed this m2 and m3 will be under construction constructive or we can say under development and when the m2 and m3 will be developed then we can say this m1 will be under development so the, to test the lower models we need to have some dummy programs which will act as a counterpart for a top level models which we call it as a driver so let's say if you want to test this this lower level models m4 m5 m6 and m7 we must have the counterpart of this m2 model to test this m4 model so which is called as a driver so drivers are basically a dummy programs which are used to call the functions of a lower lowest model in a case when the calling function does not exist it means the call, calling function is under constructive the bottom up technique requires module driver to feed the test case input to the interface of a model being tested drivers are basically written in a xml language so we'll cover this with the help of example so let's understand how this driver works so here if you see we have two modules that is m2 and m4 so this is m2 module and this is m4 module so this is the lower module and this is the top module so in case of bottom up approach this is not yet developed and this m4 is developed so we need to test this m4 model here with the help of this m2 model but which is not developed right so in such case we use this driver so in case of m2 is not available we use this driver as a dummy code or a fake code in place of m2 model as a counterpart of m2 model which is used to test the lower level model so we pass the driver driver to m4 model as a request and get the response from the model m4 as a response so let's say here the m2 is a model which provides the input as a and b so as the m2 is not available here we'll create a driver to pass this a and b values to m4 model so let's say a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 4 so if you are passing this driver to the m4 model and m4 will provide the result as a into b so a into b is that is 8 so in this case a and b we are passing as a request and we must get a response as 8 value so we need to do the comparison between response and request which is called as the xml parsing so if the response is expected then we can see that m4 is working as expected so it means here if we are passing a and b as 2 and 4 then we must get a get a response as 8 so if it is getting as 8 then we can say m4 is working as expected so in this way the driver driver works specifically so let's move on to the stops part so here if we consider the top down approach it is the opposite of bottom up approach so in this case the top level models are developed and then lower level models are under development so here the M m1 model will be developed first and after that m2 and m3 will be developed and then m4 m5 m6 and m7 will be developed 
so it means when the m1 is ready m2 and m3 are under constructive when m2 and m3 are developed m4 m5 m6 and m7 will be under constructive so here to test the top level models let's say m1 m1 model we need to have some dummy program or a fake program which will act as a counterpart for the lower level models let's say for example for the m4 model and which we call it as a stops in case of top down approach so stops are basically a dummy programs which are used to call the functions of the topmost model in a case when the lower models are not available for the integration so with the help of stops even if the lower models are not available for integration we can test the topmost model so again let's understand this with the help of example so here we have m2 model which is developed and this second is m4 model which is a lower lower model so again we will write here this is a top level and this is a bottom level which is this is developed top level is developed and this is not yet developed so now again we we need to test this m2 model here right so m4 is not yet developed so that that means we need to use a stop in place of m4 model m4 model which will provide this result as a into b so here we'll will pass the request from m2 to m4 and then m2 will m2 in place of m2 we have stop here then we'll get a response so this is a request and we'll get a response here so again if we pass let's say a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 4 so means we are passing this request and we must get a result of a into b that is 2 into 4 which meant 8 so if you are getting the result as 8 means the response is 8 then we can say that m2 is working as expected so that's it uh, this is how uh, the stops are working so here we have m2 models m2 and uh, m2 and m4 models m2 is a top level model m4 is a bottom level model and we want to test model m2 which is developed and m4 is not yet developed so here we use stub as a dummy code or a fake code in place of m4 model which is used to test the top model m2 so we pass the inputs or request from m2 to the stub that is m2 to the stub here because m4 is yet to be developed which is as a request and then get the response from m4 so then we do the comparison between request and response which is called as a xml parsing so if the response is matching with the request or we can say which is it should be expected based on the request we have passed then we can say that m2 is working as expected so this is how the stops are working just remember we need to use driver in in case of bottom up approach and stop in case of top down approach so let's discuss about some of the differences between driver and stop so the first difference is driver is used in bottom up approach and stops is used in top down approach so in case of bottom up approach low, lowest models are tested first because those are developed first and the top level models are in, in this case top level models are under constructive in case of stub top mo top most model is tested first driver stimulates the high, higher level of components stubs stimulate the lower level of components because we are testing the lower lower lowest level of components with the help of stub and in case of driver we are testing the higher level of component the top level models we are testing with the help of driver dummy program for high level component so again if you are testing the top level components here so dummy program for higher level component and then dummy program for lower level components 
so these are the these are some of the differences between drivers and stuffs so thanks for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos on software testing concepts and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates and in the upcoming lectures we'll dig further into the software testing concepts so thanks for watching